You're listening to Scared Monkeys Radio. My name is Dana Pretzer. This is my daily commentary for Friday, March 9th, 2007. You know, the news has been so depressing lately with all the coverage of celebrities who have passed away and their funerals and their child custody matters and on and on and on with video of what they did six months ago. We see the politics of Iraq, the politics of politics, the backstabbing, the fighting. We see the child sex offenders who don't get punished and run free to attack our children and judges who don't believe in punishment. It's all so depressing. And now this. Captain America, dead at 89. Captain America has died at the age of 89, shot dead in New York. The Marvel comic book hero is written out of the script in copies hitting the newsstand Wednesday after more than 65 years of fighting villains. He's been felled by a sniper's bullet on the steps of the Manhattan courthouse. Breaking news. Few details are clear at this time, but the scene outside the federal courthouse in Manhattan is a portrait of chaos and confusion as a former superhero has been shot, Marvel Comics said on its website. Captain America was actually Steve Rogers, born on U.S. Independence Day, July 4, 1917. He was created in 1941, but lacking any superpowers, looks somewhat ill-equipped to battle evil next to counterparts like Superman. Draped in the American flag, a giant A on his mask, and a shield that handily doubled as a discus, Captain America was part of the U.S. war effort created just months before the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. His first cover saw him punching Adolf Hitler in the face. Today's society is sad enough, but to lose superheroes that we all grew up with, yes, they're comics, but we need more superheroes today more than ever. I'm Dana Pretzer.